Hi guys, and welcome to a PSA Returns. This Returns is just the one person, and that is Christoph, or at Pokemon Austria. So thank you for submitting enough cards, basically, to have your own Returns. It's pretty cool. You do get the entire video <laughs> to yourself as well. Anyway, let's just get into the card. So we are going to start off with a Levenard, or a Chansey. This is French base set first edition. We then have a Livretier. Or a Gyarados, as we like to call it. Uh, Ting Non. Um, Hitmon Chan. Nido King. So I believe, Christoph, you've just sent away a foreign base set. So I think it's French to begin with. So these are all Mint 9 copies. Very, very beautiful. And then a lovely Gem Mint 10 Tartar. Beautiful card. Mint 9 on the Raichu 1st edition. We then have an Arcani. So this is German 1st edition now. And guys, you can expect to see absolutely tons of it. we got a Glutexo, a Dugong. I'm going to try my best with the pronunciations today. Um, I think that's the best I could do. Lovely Dratini. So I'd imagine all of these cards are packed fresh. I'd imagine. I mean, I'm not 100% sure. I wasn't there for the base set opening. But I'd be honest, the cards look incredibly fresh indeed. We then have a Gem Mint 10 Haunter or Alpolo. Gem Mint 10 Bisonosp or Ivasaur. Gem Mint 10 Rosanna or Jinx. Beautiful, beautiful cards to see. Um, so basically, we've had a massive increase in German first edition cards coming through the service. And I think just in general, going to PSA, there's been a huge amount of German first edition. I think the hobby is growing and growing, and it's very healthy at the moment in Germany, which is great to see. Obviously, I speak to a lot of German collectors as well. Uh, so it's really, really good to see that the hobby is growing realistically. And hopefully now, you know, I, I can't imagine, Christoph, you're going to keep all of these. I don't know. But, you know, collectors can get into our oh, beautiful PSA 10 here, can get into PSA 9s, PSA 10 collecting of the first edition base set. I mean, that's very cool indeed. These cards, you know, not, they're not necessarily easy to acquire. The base set first edition booster boxes, you know, they're like any other. They're difficult to get, you know, they're not easy to get at all. I believe it was the centering for the grade on that one. We then have a Digda, a Dodo, Gem Mint 10. We then have the Traumato, of course, the Drowsy, the Nebulac, uh, the Ghastly. Never been the biggest fan of the Ghastly artwork from base set, to be fair. Mashamp with either a really massive boulder or a little stone. Uh, we then have a Nimin 8 on the Magnetilo. Uh, Safcon Gem Mint 10. Overall, I mean, most of your grades are 9s and 10s. Another stack starting off with a Gem Mint 10. We then have the Pidgey and Pikachu, of course, 1st Edition Mint 9. The little Poliwag, very, very cute Gem Mint 10. Ponita or Ponita Gem Mint 10. The Rat Frats with the Mint 9 grade. I mean, I don't know what the prices are specifically of the Mint 9s. I'd imagine the Gem Mint 10s. You know, are probably in the realms of 50 to 100 pounds or maybe more than that, depending on the species. I might be wrong. Um, PSA 9s, I don't know whether they're trading hands for like 20 to 30 euros. But I think the more German first edition we get back, the bigger and healthier the hobby can grow. Because I think it just gives uh, the German collecting a base, doesn't it? Quite literally, um, of base set. Defender Gem Mint 10. It'd be good as well to see if we can get other sets. I'm never, ever going to be able to pronounce that one. Uh, please put your best attempts in a YouTube video. War Tongue and Plus Power and Pokemon Center. Carrying on with the trainers now. Then we've got the Pokedex. Uh, it'd be interesting to see how the populations evolve as well. And, you know, whether there are cards that are just more difficult to grade, like the Last and the War Turtle for a normal base set first edition. There's no particular reason why those cards are more difficult to create, but they are. Um, so whether that will be the case in German base set as well. Always Weedle getting beaten up in the case in base set first edition and in German first edition cards as well. We then have the double free... I'm not going to say that, but Gem Mint 10 is exactly what we want to see. We then have the energy cards. Uh, Gem Mint 10, Mint 9 on your grass energy. Gem Mint 10 on the lightning Psychic, Mint 9, Water 1st Edition, a lovely Sim Sala, look at that, it's exactly the sort of cards we want to see. Mint 9, the Chineria with the near Mint 8, and the PP with the Mint 9. Carrying on with the Holofoils now, we have the Gyarados and the Gyarados. A Mashamp, as you well know, or Masho May is a 1st Edition, near Mint 8, and then the Mint 9 version 
Oh, wow. Hello. Well, maybe that should be the thumbnail instead. Um, you know, oh, look at that. We have got a Magneton first edition German base set, Gem Mint 10. You are going to be over the moon with that one. Um, I believe the population's low. Volnona, I wasn't going crazy because it was a Magneton. Quapo Gem Mint 10. We then move on to the Bibor Gem Mint 10. The Dugtrio Mint 9, Gem Mint 10, Dig Dree. I do actually prefer Dig Dree over Dugtrio. I know that sounds silly. Uh, but we've got a few copies of that one. The Elitech Gem Mint 10. I mean, the good thing is when you are sending in those duplicates, you are more likely to get Gem Mint 10, aren't you? Um, and that, if that's the set you're going after, then that is the one you want to keep away. So if you've got some mint copies, might as well get them in because then you can store the Gem Mints away. Then have a Glutexo, the little Charmeleon, of course. We've got a Dugong Mint 9. We then have the Dratini First Edition. Parenta, or the Farfetch'd with that big leak, like he's going to go and create a massive leak soup. I wouldn't suggest it. I mean, leak is an awful ingredient. And once you put it in a soup, it just tastes like green soup. And who likes green soup? As many of you can tell, I much prefer fries and um, deep fried uh, mozzarella. Kokuna first edition. We then have the Mash Shock. Uh, Carpador Mint 9 first edition. Uh, doing those little water bubbles. The Magmar Gem Mint 10. The Nidorino Gem Mint 10. So, so many great grades here. Um, I think you're going to be over the moon when you do get these back. Which should be quite soon, actually. I'm hoping to get them out ASAP tomorrow morning and you should have them within the week and the Abra Next we have the Bissasam or the Bulbasaur first edition with a gem mint 10 very very nice We have the raw P gem mint 10 the Caterpie there Gloomander gem mint 10 with glut glut is its move. I like that We have Digda with Shoufla and Schlambud as the moves. I'm going to try and pronounce the moves now because pronouncing names gets old. We've got the Dodu with Furenschlag, which is probably going to get me demonetized. We've got... Oh, we don't monetize this anyway. We've got Fund and Confustral on the Traumato. We have Schlafgas and Schicksleberand there on the Nebulak Gem Mint 10. We have Foulness Gas. Uh, foul Gas there by Smogon, as I, I guess you would expect from a wheezing, uh, coughing there. And Macholo has kick. That's a pretty easy one to talk about. We have Magnetilo with Donavell and Finale. We have Safgon with Hartnat and Statchel Spore. Gem in 10. We have Nidoran with Gefalix Horn. I have no idea how you pronounce that one. We have Steinwerf and Hartner on the Onyx. We have Taubsy, the best Pokemon in the game, with Wurble Wind. Which is Whirlwind, I'm guessing. We have Pikachu with Nuggen and Donashock. Don Donashock? Donashock? I think that's how you say it. We have Aquanar with a Copsal. Ponita with Schmetterkick and Flamant Fad. We have Ratfrat with Biss. And Sandan with Sandverbal. Which, I like Sandverbal. That's a, it's a brilliant thing. And on the very end of this stack, we have Shiggy with Blubber and Panzer Shuts. And we carry on now with the Starmie Gem Mint 10 and the Stern Do or the Star You. We have the Tangler Gem Mint 10. Uh, maybe we could talk about the chance of German Jungle First Edition, German Fossil, German Team Rocket. You know, maybe uh, PSA could start bringing in those sets. It'd be interesting to see. I reckon the collector's base would explode. I mean, it's definitely bigger at the moment now. But I think if we added in those German first edition sets, you'd give more people more choice. Um, and it has been so long since those sets were released. But the hobby is growing and growing. I'd really like to see, you know, Jungle, Fossil, Team Rocket, maybe even... I don't know if know Neos. I don't, I'm not sure if they were German uh, released. I know that it did stop at some point. It might have been in the EX era, though. Uh, so then we have the spray, of course. We've got Imposter or Falsa Professor Eich, uh, Gem Mint 10. To so apologise if you're offended by my pronunciation. Um, then we have another one as well. And Detector Weedle getting beaten up yet again. We then have a Detector Gem Mint 10. A Gore. Gore, which, I don't know. Obviously, that's the translation for Lass. Um, if Lass or Gore is difficult to grade, then you did quite well because you got two of those Gem Mint 10s and then Nimin 8. And to mint nine. 
Uh, guys, I would say any of these grades that are lower than a Gem Mint 10 might just be due to the centering. Or maybe there's like tiny nicks. But I mean, they're going to be tiny because they're from brand new cards. Uh, hopefully the grader would have been able to tell that, to be fair. Uh, we then have a Mint 9. We then have the Pokemon Handler with Farfetch'd with a little leak again. Farfetch'd seemed to be quite a popular Pokemon, didn't it? Uh, we then have the next one. Shame it's not Surfetch'd. We then have Pokelander Gem Mint 10. Quite a few duplications of this card. I don't know if it's because it's a difficult one to grade. I'm not sure. Gem Mint 10 on Weedle getting beaten up. We've got Super Energy Absorber, which is Gem Mint 10, and another one as well. The last stack now, guys, uh, of German base set first edition. Like I say, you're going to have to get used to it because we are expecting so many of these back. Um, and this is just a few hundred from one sender. We have Wartung. We've got plus power. And, you know, we, we're kind of expecting a lot more, like thousands of cards coming back. We'd like it if the population just kept growing and growing. Uh, I think it just invites more people into the hobby. If they, you know, people believe these cards are obtainable. Uh, Bella Bear, Super Trank, Bill, First Edition, Mint 9. We then have Energy Absorber, Gem Mint 10. Uh, Weedle getting beaten up as get as well, Gem Mint 10. Trank, I do like Trank. I like the word Trank. I much prefer it over Potion and Super Trank as well, of course. Um, got the Double Colorless Energy. I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that one. I believe that the rest of all of these are just energies as well. So I'll just flick through them. Very quickly, the Psychic, Water Energy. Oh, okay, we then have some normal hollows right at the end. we got a base set holo first edition. Oh, wow. Hello. Wow. That was a surprise. We have an Alakazam French first edition gem mint 10. That was a surprise right at the end of the video. So I'm going to guess 99% of you missed that. Anyway, guys, if you have got this far and you're not subscribed and you haven't liked this video, what are you doing? You've got to subscribe and like because of this card is telling you to through the camera. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you a lot for watching. Thank you, Christoph, at Pokemon Austria. Go check out the Instagram. And yeah, great set of returns.